morning everybody and welcome back to our channel it is the 2nd of December day two of vlogmas um, Jason's just taught me something really exciting for those of you who don't know I love coffee in particular Christmas coffees and Jason's just taught me about a new coffee van that's opening quite close to us has it opened is yeah it's, open it's up and running it's, right. a, it's down the back of Knott's Flats it's like um, you've got a roadway down the right hand side of Quick Fit and Tidemouth it's just ah. in the car park on the back of there. So, I don't know about you guys, but I think that probably means that we should pay a visit at some point <laughs> over the next couple of days. So, day two, Christmas tree shopping. Hunt. Will this be the Hunt. day? Hunt. <laughs> Will this be the day that we get the tree that I want? I mean, we're not being fussy, really. We just want one that's going to fit in the space. It's just because it's bigger, isn't it? A little bit it? taller than last year. Yeah, definitely. We used to have, because I was saying yesterday, the tree on the other side, the ceiling's lower. So last year when we put the tree on the other side, it just looked a little bit short. It wasn't too bad, but we're just going to try and get one that'll fit. So Christmas tree hunt day two is underway. And hopefully we'll fit one of them gingerbread lattes in. No, right. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> so what else has happened this morning? Oh, took Leah out for a walk or a drag. Um, Ash is only a puppy, she doesn't know how to <laughs> walk on a lead yet. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not very fun at the minute. But Saturday, she's starting a puppy class, so things should be a bit better. Fingers crossed, Ash goes. The thing is, with being in lockdown, we haven't been able to socialise Ash. She's not used to other dogs, people, cars, fans, you name it. She isn't used to anything but our house. Um, so it's been a bit tricky. But luckily, we've managed to get a spot onto puppy training classes, which was also quite difficult because numbers are low and things like that. So we feel very lucky to have been getting a place. <gasps> right, we're at our first destination. So, oh, Christmas map? Yeah. Got me Christmas mask ready. Oh, have you brought yours? Yeah, it's black. Oh, yeah. sounds more like something the Grinch would wear, really. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get your new one. You've got sprouts or candy canes. Yeah, thank you. That's okay. Tell you what, comment down below which one should you wear. <laughs> oh, I can see the Christmas trees. <gasps> oh, look. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, Lady Robin for the crossing. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I can see the trees. <laughs> eee. There we go. Small ones. We've literally been out the car for two minutes. It started raining, which you girls will understand. Not great. I haven't brought a hood or a hat, so crazy. Right. So we've just looked at them trees. They're just not tall enough. Um, yeah. And they're like ten pound more than other places, like the top wax, weren't they? So and it's only ten pound, but and it wasn't tall enough anyway. So we are going. We've just bought one neighbour as well. Paul came out there, and he was saying there's like a forest place. So we're gonna have a quick look. On Google Maps, Let's see if we can find that. It's turning into quite a little saga, isn't it? Goodness me! But at least when this Christmas tree arrives at our house, it's going to know that it's wanted and loved. Okay, and we didn't just settle. Okay, so. <laughs> Yay! More Christmas trees. Turn right. Turn right. Make a U-turn. Make a U-turn. Oh. I can't really see properly. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! That's it, flat lined. There's trees! Turn left on Claremont Crescent. Then oh. turn left on Claremont Crescent. Right. Fingers crossed this time. <laughs> You excited? No. You know. <laughs> I, I, I like the Norman first because you know you believe the 
needles don't drop yeah, on the that's carpet. It. So. That's it. Well, we'll get a Nordman fur, don't worry. I By don't, the I end don't. of today, we'll have a Nordman fur. Wow, look at the size of that one. Which one? The one's over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, too big. Ooh, I'm just zooming. Too there big. we go, yes. Looking great. You'll have, you'll have to sit on the roof. <laughs> yeah, no, I might have to get a taxi home. <laughs> Glad you spotted it there. <laughs> Ross, would you mind just standing on the end, mate? Fantastic. Thank you very much. And uh, where's your car? Just to say. Well, all that's good. <laughs> yeah. We've got it in. We have our tree. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at my new friend. <laughs> We've got no choice but to be friends because we're sitting right next to each other. We have our tree, thank goodness. So we ended up going to the real Christmas tree company, which is based in the Kittywig pub car park. Um, I'll put the address in the comments down below. Really, really good service, guys. I was, yeah, I was really quite impressed. Yeah. Um, they're really helpful. They move the trees around, no problem. They were lifting them up and down off the, the step. Um, really, really helped her, and I thought it was a really nice service that we got there. Um, then they've helped us by already cutting the bottom of it. Um, a little tip for you if you do get a real tree, this is not my tip, this is just a you know, you can find this online or anything. When you get a new tree, make sure that you do take some off the bottom of the trunk because what happens is when the trees are first cut down, um, they form like a sap layer. And if you don't cut, on, cut any off the bottom, they won't take in any water and you'll find that the tree just dies. Well, that's weird. Just where that's just goes really, really dry. Especially when you've got the heat on full work. <laughs> <laughs> so what you'll find is even if you've got it in your proper container with the water in and everything, you'll just find that the water's not going down because it just isn't able to absorb, absorb any water. So really good service there because he's actually already cut it full, which is fantastic. That saved us a job. Um, then obviously they netted it up and then just asked her to bring the car around and the two guys put it in at the boot as well We didn't even have to carry it back the car so that was absolutely fantastic um, It's cash only there guys so if you are in the northeast and you are looking for a tree They've got all sizes in as well from really really small ones little potted ones Right up to even bigger than the one we've got. They've got like over eight foot nine yeah. foot ones haven't they? Um, so yeah, I'm really really pleased. I'm really happy as you can tell So on to the next stop today and um, we've got a few little like sort of boring jobs to do really <laughs> for me <laughs> um like we need to go and get some sort of oil container with a spout on um and bits and pieces for my tinkering <laughs> yeah um and then we'll get this baby home um and get the ball sorted i'm really quite excited i don't think we're gonna be able to decorate it until the kids come in from school because i don't think they'd be too impressed if we did that without them oh. but we've got the tree and it's so good and it's lovely and it smells amazing now it's christmas baby oh, no. <laughs> right we're gonna soldier on anyway right so paid about 30 pounds for all this shopping and you just said it's rubbish but i promise you it's not and i will show you some of the things later i can't show you everything but i will show you some of the things then we've just been in to b and q again because we went there yesterday as well as you'll know if you saw yesterday's vlog and we bought a drill because we're going to borrow one of my mum, but she said it smelled funny when it was charging so we bought a new one so we can all use that and i just look like i've got half my face now <laughs> And yesterday we're looking at a new bin. I know it's really, really exciting, isn't it? And we forgot to buy it yesterday. And then we got to the till today and I said, we forgot to buy the bin. So I went running through the shop. 
like I'm running with a mask on and I found the bin and I came running back to the till. What I didn't realise was the guys behind us in the queue had overheard the conversation. So when I started running back, he shouted to Jason, was it? She's back, she's made it or something. <laughs> I thought, goodness me, so I said to the woman at the till, if anybody's watching a CCTV upstairs, they're going to think that I was shoplifting it because I literally pegged it from the bin department at the tills. <laughs> it's not fun running in a mask, my guys. Don't do it. Honestly, I was absolutely boiling. Didn't feel like I could breathe properly. That was not fun. But we're now on my way home. It's lunchtime. I'm starving. We've resisted the burger van two days in a row, so we're doing really well, aren't we? Oh, oh God. Spot back the camera. I know. Right, what we haven't told you is we've we've decided to have a little bit of um sort of healthy eating regime ahead of Christmas. Because as you know, over Christmas you want to be able to enjoy all the foods. So we've kind of all we're not trying to lose weight or anything. Um but Christmas, like December is a really good one for me because you get a little bit of chocolate every day out your calendar, so it's not too bad. And we've made some small changes, and we're not like massive changes, but like different cereal bars and things like that for snacks, um healthier fruit crisp, and veg. yeah, fruit and veg, um better choice for meals. Last night was would normally have a takeaway, um we had chicken curry with rice and chips, which was all homemade, as you saw. So we're making some small changes. Um, and yeah, then just once Christmas comes, we're just gonna go all out, absolutely. So with all those the snacks and everything that I keep saying that for Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, so we've resisted the burger van two days. So well done, Jason. Well done, you've done really well. <laughs> The whole reason to go to B&Q with your dad when you were yes, a kid. Yes, that's right. That's a burger van. Yeah, that's the only reason I used to go with him. And there's a good one outside Wix as well. I should know, I've tried them both. Have you had the Wix one as well? You've the Wix Yeah, I have. <laughs> My new friend keeps getting in the way. E, lovely. There it is in the back there. So we've now got a Christmas tree, a massive bin and a drill. Hello. Two bags of shopping and a partridge in a pear tree. See you after lunch. <laughs> I'll wait five seconds. So when it comes down, it shuts. Wow, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Who's supposed to be having a sleep? So it's just going off to sleep, aren't you? And then everybody's here. Let's get excited. So we're going to make some millions cookies. Okay. Yeah. Or fed. Look. Or you can just press it. Wow. It's not a toy though, Freddie, okay, Jason? Uh, we made a baby, we've got an automatic bin. How's the day been? Forget your it's island fine. in the kitchen. <laughs> you had a good day? Uh, yeah, yeah it's all right. But look who's yet seeing you now. Yeah, yeah she's, been, um, she's been a toddler a day and refusing to have an afternoon now. So we're going to make what we're making, let's see. only have one shoe on right now. <laughs> Wow, we're gonna make some of them. Make it with a view Looks good. Why have you only got one shoe on, Madeline? Did the bully steal it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it up now. No, I. Uh, Jason told me that it was something really important. All oh, right, yeah. Okay, Can we just clarify that there isn't anybody bullying you just before we start getting worried messages? <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, Merry Christmas. Freddie, you're doing a lovely job of mixing it all up there, aren't you? So can you remember what we've done so far? Yeah. What did we put in? The egg. An egg. And butter. Butter, yep. Yeah. And something in the jug. Egg. We've had the egg, butter and milk, haven't we? And then we'll give it a good mix round. And that's everything you need to put in. It's quite a good little kit, isn't it? Let me put in this. We're going to put it in the cases. We'll get a little spoon out. We've got all the cases out on there. Shall I get you a smaller spoon, yeah? Good boy. Wow. They're nearly ready, aren't they, Freddy? Excited. Yeah. Good boy. So, we've made, we're going to make some million cupcakes. They're just busy cooking, aren't they? We're yeah. Giving them a few more minutes because yeah. they're not quite ready. And. And what's up in the living room now? What can you see? Uh, a Christmas, a Christmas tree. tree. Let's show everybody. So, 
here is the tree. I'll just have to zoom out a little bit. So this is where it's going to be in the corner. It's okay at the corner. It's still got its little sleeping bag on at the minute. As you can see, it is just very slightly too tall. But that's, I don't think we've done too bad there, guys, if I'm totally honest with you. Tiny bit off the top, we're going to be sorted. Have a smell, Freddie. Smell the tree. Is it nice? Yeah. It smells like Christmas. So, Madeline's just getting ready for dancing, isn't she? So Madeline has her dance class today and she's really excited because it's the first time that she's going to be back at dancing. Because um, here in the UK, uh, we've been on a lockdown for four weeks and we're out of lockdown now so classes can resume so madeline's really really happy to get back to dancing because she does have dance exams next weekend doesn't she freddie so when madeline comes down daddy's just finishing a couple of things off and then we're gonna decorate the tree we're very excited yeah yeah you're gonna do that aren't you you're desperate to do that yes yeah well should we wait until dad comes down then he'll tell you what to do because freddie listen Fred, I don't know how to do it. I think we might have to start at the top. I think yeah. We have to pull this we will do, but we'll start at the top and work down, right? It's gonna look lovely, isn't it? I'm so pleased with it. It's great. I'm I really, really happy. It off now. Have you? Fantastic. So we've got a couple of minutes left, and then we're gonna get those cakes out, yeah. Remember how it is. Yeah. Well, you're doing a lovely job there, Freddie. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Oh goodness me, there's Edward with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Trim it down, not too much. Yeah. Come and get this bit. What bit? You started you off. You started you off ready to get the netting off. Do you? it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Go upstairs. Don't shout. Go upstairs because Leah's having a sleep. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. It's a moment of truth, guys. Here's the lights. Test number one. We have lights. Excellent. Brilliant. Lovely. Fabulous. Yeah, I'm yeah. Right yeah. Well, as much as I can tell when they're flashing like that, but yes, they're on. That's that's good enough for me. Right. You alright down there? Hello. Look, it's Epcot. Yeah, that's right. It does look like Epcot, doesn't it? That's because it is. That's because it is. <laughs> And put the decorations on the sofa. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. That one landed on a plug. Oh, dear. Be careful with Epcot. <laughs> yeah, you blow your beard up. Right, test, test number, number two. two. Here we go. I've got these out on the sofa. We have light. Yes. Yes. Excellent. They live to survive another year. Excellent. Right. Let's get them sorted. Are we going to get the tree out now? Oh, we're we'll waiting for Madeline. Just everyone. You know what she's waiting for? She's waiting for the hard work to be done so she can just come and put the sparkly decorations no, on, isn't she? No. Yep, she is. Well, she's going to have to walk to dancing. <laughs> oh, Daddy is such a weenie. No, no. <laughs> John, who's in my turn? <laughs> right, Freddie. The net's coming off. Put this on. You be sent, Aggie. Here we go. Oh, there's no birds nesting it this year. <laughs> that was a treat, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a couple of years ago, that was not it. Ooh, it's exciting! Ooh! Oh. Another Epcot! Another Epcot bauble, yeah. Here we go. Ready, look! That's a big tree. Yeah. Is, isn't it? Yeah, uh, we need a smaller sofa. <laughs> we'll sort it out. Right. Do you need the yellow pages? Time yeah. Time Freddie. Time your time. Freddie, what we'll have to do is put you on the ledge up there, look. Put you on the ledge up there and then you can get the bits off the top. <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> Decorating already? Alright. Right, 
So far, have been moved. <sighs> Tree is in. And I have got oven gloves on my And feet. while we had our backs turned, Freddie now has oven gloves on his hands and his feet. <laughs> Why? Why? Because I want it. Oh, right, okay. So the reason why we have two sets is because it's for a game, isn't it? That we'll play over Christmas. That's really good. Yeah, it's a good game. It's called Throw the Turkey. Throw the Turkey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna say that's a new game. Right, so we're gonna get all these lights on the tree now then, yeah? Yeah. Let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. Day. Look who's made an appearance. <laughs> right, the lights are on. We've got them switched on so that we know where they would go. Freddy. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> so Madeline's just started decorating the tree. Hello. Right, so me and Freddie have just finished putting the um, toppings on the cakes. When I say me and Freddie, I mean Freddie did one and then decided to go and put on his pyjamas while I did the rest. So anyway, we've finished them, okay? Oh, here he comes. Hello. Hi. Would you like to show everybody them? Yeah. I'll give you them and then you can show everyone. So this is there. what they look like so far. Mm -hmm. And next we're going to eat them. You're going to eat one, are you? Yeah. Mm which one are you having? The one with the orange. Oh wow, looks tasty. Do you think some nice milk would go with that? Yeah, and a sausage. And a sausage? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I think I better explain. <laughs> so I had sausages for tea tonight and I always cook extra. <gasps> Oh my goodness, may the lightning here is so bright. Um, I always cook extra sausages, so Fred has asked if he can have a sausage for bedtime, so why not? Um, yeah, so a sausage and a cupcake with milk for bedtime. And um, with so Is it nice? Yes. Is it? <laughs> why have we got a bare chest? <laughs> hey. I'm gonna go and see Leah. Is your cake lovely and tasty though? Yeah. And I see you've got your sausage there ready as well. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Hi guys. So, a few hours has passed since we've vlogged. Um, Freddie's just gone to bed. Leah's just gone to bed. Madden's just had a shower. She's coming in the kitchen, getting a snack and a drink. And we are finished the tree. So here we go, guys. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> there we go, that is our tree for this year, 2020. Oh, it's out. there we go. So, it took a while to get it finished. We did have a little break and have some tea, but we were really proud of ourselves because we didn't succumb to a takeaway. So, we just had, we had some frozen sausages with the jack of potatoes and beans. So, it was kind of a little bit in the middle. It wasn't full on healthy, but it wasn't a takeaway. So, Good for us for doing that. Jason's dead impressed. <laughs> Aren't you? Oh, I, lo I love a Chinese one. I know. <laughs> but, you know, Christmas is coming. I might end up having two. You are for a long time anyway, aren't you? Oh. So, yes. You're 19 right. days. 19, day 19 days, guys. How lucky is he? 19 days off. 
So yeah, there we go. That is the tree all done. So let's give you a closer look. <music> there is our tree for Christmas 2020. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Please do give us a thumbs up if you have. Comment down below and let us know what you've been up to. Happy Vlogmas and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye!